Hey there, people! What you guys up to today? I don't know what we need to be up to. Learning some legato. So here are three legato licks that are for sure going to impact your legato if you're just trying to get um, stronger, faster, quicker, more fluid motions through the legato lines. Here's three of them. Now, as always, there's going to be tabs for it. But this time, tabs are on my website if you want to print them out. And they're in the video. Dig it. So here's lick number one, two, and three, and then I'll break them all down for you, and you guys will be rocking and rolling. Like this. So first off, before I break these down, it has been a very long time since I had any video tabs, and um, I'm just going to try to give this, well I think I'm going to try to put them around here somewhere, uh, so you guys can see them in the actual video, but this is just going to be kind of like a trial one, let me know if you guys like the way that this is shot, so if you guys could, that feedback would actually help me out a lot. So here's the first one, like I said, um, to me I'm kind of getting a vibe, it's E Lydian, has a real nice kind of smoothness to it. <laughs> My favorite tone in the world is a strat on a neck pickup. That's not what we're here for. R -r -r Rewind. So um, what we have here is, like I said, this lick. It goes like this, real nice and slow. Notice I missed the string there. Uh, so anyways, what I'm doing here is I'm playing fourth fret on our low E string. So that is our G sharp A flat. And I'm using my middle finger for that one. So then after that, I use one string on uh, one note on that string. I go to the A string and I do two, four, six on the A. And this is what is kind of tricky to me because it's that continuous pattern of one, three, one, three. So we have that much. Then we go to four on the D. Now on the G, we're going to play uh, what is this? Three, four, six. We have to do a little bit of a position shift here. Because we're going to go to 5 with our middle finger on the B. Then we're going to go to the high E string and it's going to be 4, 6, 7. Then we descend the way that we came. So 6, 4, 5. Then we go to the G, which is 6, 4, 3. Then we're going to go to... I don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> 4 on the D. Then the A string is 6, 4, 2. And then 4 on the low E. So... This one really, for some reason, trips my fingers up playing it slow. It's one of those licks that it's easier to play fast than it is slow, but it's important to be able to be able to break that down and play it slower. So that is that one. Uh, like I said, tabs are on my website if you want it. On to lick number two. So now this lick is a total E minor pentatonic one. We're combining our fourth and fifth box to start off with. In kind of a simple way, but it's a good endurance builder. So uh, the purpose of these licks was to kind of, was, what is that? Was to hit a bunch of different areas. Kind of like how like a workout instructor would almost kind of look at things. So this was an ascending pattern that had different note groupings than what we might be used to. Now this is going to be an endurance, that's my son in the background. Um, hold on. <laughs> but, um, so this is an endurance builder right here. So we're going to go like this. It's going to be 12, pull off 10, pull off 7 on the high E. And then 10 on the B. So. And I go back to the high E string. And it's 7, 10, 12. So. Then it cycles. And then kind of like full volume. And again, speed is not our goal here. We want to have very um, smooth, fluid motions. You want all of your notes. You don't want re real fast pull-offs and slow hammer on. You don't want that, you want a real steady sound. Okay, we're going to shift up, now we're going to combine our 5th and our 1st position of E minor pentatonic. This is going to be 15, 12, 10 on the high E, 12 on the B, and then back to our high E string, 10, 12, 15. As far as picking on all these licks, I really don't, there's not like a particular way I pick, I just kind of let my hand do whatever, so I might be alternating, I might not be. Um, Same thing. Now we're going to shift up again. Now this is combining our first and second position and kind of our octave since we're past the 12th fret. So it's going to be 17, 15, 12 on the high E. 
any moves? Hopefully my hands were in focus. <laughs> uh, 17, 15, 12, and then 15 on the B. Then 12, 15, 17 on the high. And the reason I like this one, it uses 1, 3, and 4 a lot as far as fingers. And that seems to be kind of like the weaker fingers for a lot of people. And obviously I encourage you to continue all these licks. Go to uh, next patterns. Well, the next one. It's hard to get. My fingers don't fit. <laughs> Curse of having big hands. So, um, anyways, that is lick number two. So on to the final one. Now this one's kind of a doozy because it does quite a bit. So let me play it again for you at a slow tempo. Now the reason this one I think is tough is because I try to only pick the first note. I think that's probably the best. I've played that one today. Uh, so what I'm doing here is the simple patterns. I, this one I lead with my middle finger. It goes 15 to 14, then 15, 17. Back to 15, back to 14. So get that pattern down first. Okay, then we're going to go to the B string, and it's going to be 15 to 13, then 15 to 17. Now on the G, it's going to change. Our pattern's going to go 16, 12, 14. D string is the same thing. 16, 12, 14. Okay. Go to the A string and it's going to uh, kind of flip back to that first pattern. So we're going to go 14, 12, 15. Up to the low E, 14, 12, 15. Ending on our G, this is out of G major. So we have E Lydian. We had a E pentatonic. Then we had a G major lick. So that is all three of them. I hope you guys enjoyed those licks. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, don't forget to subscribe and subscribe, wherever this button is. Uh, you can click that, and it automatically does something really cool. Not even lying. So, um, and of course, you can like, share, and I already said subscribe, but I'll say it again. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. No. Uh, but anyways, I will see you guys next time, and I will see you guys Friday with a new Guitar Talk. Later, guys.